Question one comes from Jane in Exeter. Jane says she knows how to differentiate and integrate sine x and cos x, but would like to know how to differentiate and integrate tan x. We'll first have a look at differentiation. And before we can differentiate tan x, there are several things we need to know. First of all, we need to know the differential of sine x. So d by dx of sine x if you differentiate sine x, then you get cos x. If we differentiate cos x, d by dx of cos x, then we get minus sine x. We next need to know how to differentiate a quotient. If we differentiate d by dx, of u over v, where u and v are functions of x, then what we get is v du by dx minus u dv by dx all over v squared. So in terms of the top and bottom of this fraction, the differential is the bottom times the differential of the top minus the top times the differential of the bottom all over the bottom squared. And one more thing we'll need to know is we'll need to know that we can write tan x is equal to sin x divided by cos x. Right, armed with these results here, we're ready to tackle the differentiation of tan x. So, d by dx of tan x is equal to d by dx, and we're going to rewrite tan x as sin x over cos x. Now then, using this result here, the differential of a quotient, this is equal to the bottom, cos x, times the differential of the top, and the differential of sine x is cos x, minus the top, that's minus sine x, times the differential of the bottom, and the differential of cos is minus sine x, all over the bottom squared, and the bottom is cos x, so the bottom squared is cos squared x. And this gives us cos x times cos x is cos squared x. Here we have a minus times a minus is a plus, and sine x times sine x is sine squared x. And on the bottom we've still got cos squared x. Now, cos squared x plus sine squared x is always 1 for any angle x. So this is 1 over cos squared x. And that's one form of the answer. We can also write 1 over cos x as sec x. So 1 over cos squared can be thought of as 1 squared over cos squared, so we can give an alternative answer as sec squared x. And that's how most people remember the differential of tan x as sec squared x. But sec x is just 1 over cos, so sec squared x is 1 squared over cos squared x, which is just 1 over cos squared x. So that completes the differentiation of tan x. Let's move on now and look at integration. Before we can do the integration, we need to know if you differentiate the log of some function of x, then what you get is the differential of that function, f dash of x, divided by the function itself. And that works the opposite way around. So if I were to integrate a fraction where the top of the fraction 
is the differential of the bottom of the fraction then what we get is the log of the bottom of the fraction plus a constant of integration so that's just the reverse of this if you differentiate the log of fx you get f dash of x over fx so if you integrate f dash of x over fx you get the log of fx so if we want to integrate tan x with respect to x we can rewrite it as the integral of sine x over cos x with respect to x now the differential of cos x is minus sine x that's not quite what we've got on the top we've got sine x so let's take out a common factor of minus 1 and write this as minus the integral of minus sine x divided by cos x with respect to x. Now it's in the required form. The top is the differential of the bottom. So the integral of this fraction is log the bottom. But I've also got a minus sign at the front, so it will be minus log the bottom. So it's minus the log of cos x plus a constant of integration. And that completes the integral of tan x. Let's finish with a summary. So what we found is that the differential of tan x is equal to 1 over cos squared x. or sec squared x and the integral of tan x with respect to x is equal to minus the log of cos x plus a constant of integration and that completes the question.